Education in the Eastern Cape comes under close scrutiny this week from ghost teachers to overcrowding and poor infrastructure in rural schools. This as the Parliamentary Committee on Basic Education visits the province to examine challenges crippling access to education. One such school in desperate need of infrastructure and schooling equipment is Pangindlela Junior Secondary School. Iviwe Porti has more. Waiting for a proper school building since 1996. The past 19 years, learners have been forced to receive education in terrible conditions. Classes are grossly overcrowded with over 100 pupils in each class. This after walking almost 15 kilometers to get to school. Parents have tried to raise funds to maintain the building and fencing of the school, but with many of them coming from poverty-stricken homes, they have failed. Something which is uh, uh, affecting the school is the infrastructure. Uh, also the furniture, uh, also the, the, there's a kitchen there where we are making food for, for kids, but there's no space. Learners are prone to sickness as the toilets are in a terrible state. The school can only afford to have the pit system cleaned out four times a year. I get cold near the window. When raining, I get wet. The building is poor. We can get infections. The department says they are still dealing with a backlog of 52 billion rand in the Eastern Cape. The school is scheduled to benefit one this year. They will be getting additional toilets and access to water. Next year we will definitely be providing them with additional classrooms. Teachers are hoping that the parliamentary committee will help to change their situation. If we're Poti, SABC News, Mkandu.